letter from the Lord given to Susan Davis on Sunday, January 14th, 2024. The title, Days of Darkness. Listen to these words. Today is a day of darkness. While weather records are being set, so are records of evil. Men have become filled with evil so that in every waking moment, their hearts are only ever focused on evil. They are continuously maintaining evil in their hearts. It is epidemic. The world is now witnessing plagues of death. There is a plague of the death of men's heart that wax cold as they plot evil on their pillows at night. Evil is rising up. Many cannot see it because their hearts have become immune to evil and have freely accepted it as normal. Only those who know of my ways recognize that there is a great darkness moving across the land. Humanity has set an all-time low of how grotesque evil can be. There is evil at every turn and the wickedness in every arena of life. Even with overflowing lawlessness, people still desire and pursue the world at every turn. Their hands cannot touch the things of the world enough. There is no end to the appetite of men for the consumption of evil and all that is anti-God. Men now believe themselves to be gods and have appointed themselves to alter the creation in gross and evil ways. Punishment for such evil must be delivered and so don't be dismayed that the land and the animals the land supports is now suffering under the pressure of great sin. Every walk of life is witnessing what comes forth when sin rises up and men turn their backs to God. This is just the beginning of what is in store for evil mankind. There is much more ahead for those who choose against me in favor of the pursuit of the world run by my enemy. If you walk in sync with the world, then you are of the world. If you pursue me with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, then you are in the world and not swayed by the love of evil. You must choose which road you will travel on, the broad way that most choose or the narrow path that only the few travels on. Walking in evil is the easy way. To be set apart from evil cannot be accomplished in the flesh. Only through a full surrender to me, your Savior, and by acknowledging the curse of sin you were born into and repenting of it and the great feat of the penalty of evil I paid on the cross for your sin, can you or anyone be reborn from the state of wickedness and the evil. I made the way possible for you to enter back into relationship with the Father, to lay down your own will in exchange for the will of the Father and to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Only by the infinite power of the Holy Spirit within you in all his fullness and through an intimate relationship with God can the flesh release its grips on sin and the pursuit of all that's evil. Every intention of man is evil until he acknowledges his lawlessness and receives my blood covering and returns to the will of the Father, being filled by the Holy Spirit. Without this vital exchange of wills, the individual is merely a vessel holding evil, hosting demons. You must come to terms with this truth and decide for or against your God. All will give an account of their life to me on the day they stand before me, whether to enter into life eternal with God or to be cast away from the presence of God for all time. No choice is a choice to continue on in sin apart from God. 
lack of understanding will not be a qualified excuse as all men are given my word and many chances to choose against evil for a commitment to God. All will be without excuse when they stand before me unprepared with soiled garments and will suffer the penalty of eternal loss. Why risk such an outcome when I paid your penalty? Salvation is yours to take freely, so exchange your will for the Father's and come walk with God. At your last earthly breath, will you be found of the world or in the world? This is a choice only you can make and cannot be made by any other for you. Wake up! Your time is now exceedingly short as many around you daily enter into their eternal destination, whether it be with God or apart from God. Come be part of my forever kingdom, your eternal God. Read Proverbs chapter 6 verse 18. Matthew chapter 12 verses 34 to 36 Romans chapter 1 verse 20 and Matthew chapter 7 verses 21 to 23 Hey boy Song is something known Get if I say yeah is coming don't get left behind. Don't get left behind. Boy. The rapture is coming. Don't get left behind. Don't get left behind.